All right, well, we'll go ahead. Um, so we are having a special meeting today. Hold on, I'm in the wrong place. Um, the first thing I would like to do is have you join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Mute your microphones if you'd be so kind. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, and uh, our main guest today is Carol Worth, uh, but we will just go right ahead, Carol. I think most everyone knows you. Um, first of all, I would ask for uh, approval of the minutes of our August 10th meeting. Move to approve. A motion. Marcus I'm moved. All right. Um, Bert moved. Marcus, can I take that as a second? Yes. All right. Uh, is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor state aye. 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 Uh, the, uh, no nays, the chair votes aye. We will go then to our piece of business for today, 3.1, which is a resolution awarding the sale of $4,610,000 in general obligation refunding bonds. And I'm gonna turn that over to Carol. Okay, all right, good evening. All right, first of all, the dollar amount, $4,610,000 has changed as a result of the bids coming in today. And that dollar amount will change based on how much premium that the winning bidder is, is including in his bid. So in this case, the winning bidder uh, did not include as much premium. So therefore the issue size went up to 4635 So the resolution and the documents that you have before you are all prepared in the dollar amount of 4635 okay? All right, this now goes back to the report in July where we talked about doing a refunding of the 2007 bonds, which is strictly for savings. Uh, at that time, the savings was 647,000. We were estimating an interest rate of 0 0.97. We prepared, went to the bond market, uh, went through the rating process and the credit report is also attached. We did, uh, Moody's did reaffirm the AA2 bond rating for the city. And this morning we took the bids, we received four bids. And again, that was in that dollar amount of 4610 Uh We show you the bidders, uh, BOK Financial Securities is the winning bid. And that was at the 0.646% interest rate. And then we have the other three bidders showing. Uh, we did the adjustment based on the amount bid on premium, and that's what brought the issue size up to the 4635 but still at a true interest rate of the 6.46. And in that interest rate is all of the expenses of issuance. That's why it's referred to as the true interest rate. The savings results, we now have 701733 uh, We have a present value of 14.6. We had a present value of over 13% uh, to begin with. So uh, again, very, very positive results. And uh, the underwriter does pay all expenses of issuance, which would be uh, our fee, bond council rating and underwriting. So that is all included in, in these figures. Uh, the second page of my summary report uh, talks about the resolution that you're taking action on. What it's doing is approving the borrowing terms as far as, you know, how long the bonds are being retired over the interest rates. It's awarding the bonds to the firm of BOK Financial Securities, and it's authorizing those 2007 bonds to be called in on October 1. That's going to stop that interest that's, that's right now outstanding at over 4%. On September 15th is when the city will receive all of the money at one time. And I did a little breakdown there to show you it's 4,635 of principal and the bid that came in at about 141,700 of premium. The combined amount goes to pay off the 4,775 of bonds. So, so that's how the exercise works. And that will occur on October 1. So we will assist the city with notifying the bondholders as of tomorrow that the bonds are being called in. That means that the October 1 will be the very last interest payment they're going to receive at that interest, current interest rate. And then you turn to, as of September 15th, 
the new issue uh, starts in terms of the interest accruing from that date and your next payment will be in the year 2021. Uh, on the second page of my handout is a retirement schedule that goes from 2021 to 2026, which is the same term that the 2007 bonds were outstanding. Oop coupon means interest rates. You'll see that it's, it's uh, first four years are at 1% and the uh, the next two years are at 2%, but when you bring in that 141,000 of premium, that's what brings that TIC down to the 0 0.64, okay? So that's the math. And that's basically showing in that uh, final pricing summary on my uh, page two, the yield column shows you what the investors are actually receiving. So right now, the investor that has the 2021 maturity is actually yielding a 0.2%. And the highest amount is in 2026, which is 0.35%. So obviously the market has improved significantly, which is the reason why the results are even better than what we were talking about in July. And that's driven by that yield column, okay? The yields have gone down uh, 30 plus basis points right across the board. So, so that's where our savings is coming from. And uh, again, on that pricing summary, you'll see anything that's sold at a dollar price over 100 is sold as a premium bond, and all of them are sold as a premium bond. Um, and that totals up the total dollar price that the investors paid, which is that 4,841 number. That's where the uh, calculation of the premium is, is, is being shown. Uh, okay, the next page is the uh, savings results, and you may recall in July, we considered two different savings options. One of them was taking level savings each and every year, and then there was a different option being discussed, which uh, was called debt, debt levy relief, and we had taken more savings in the first two years, and then the savings on a level basis thereafter. So. Uh, back in July, the first two years of savings were about $207,000, $208,000 each. Now you can see we have about $225,000 in those years. And the final four years uh, in the earlier report were in the 50 some thousand range, and so now you're in the $62,000, dollars range. So that's where that all rolls up to that $701,000. And then, of course, we present value it at the arbitrage yield to get the numbers that are associated with present value benefits. Okay, everybody with me so far? Any questions? I think part of the problem, Carol, and I apologize if I'm the only person who didn't get this handout and I can't read it on the screen. So, and if the rest of you did get the handout, you know, we can still ask questions. Um, and uh, I, it's not that I'm doubting a single word that you are saying. Sure, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know, did the rest of you get the report? And I just missed it somewhere? No, okay. So maybe the next time we do this, we can, because I do appreciate your taking us through it, but the little teeny tiny print on the screen doesn't help us. Right. So, yes, I, I would agree. Thomas. <laughs> yeah. to... So just uh, do keep going. Okay. Okay. All right. And then um, the information that is attached to my summary report, which three pages were my summary report. And following that is, is the credit report. So the credit report reads very similar to the last credit report that the city received because we just went through the process in, in, uh, in May. And uh, this has been updated with the 2019 financial information. Uh, it does uh, have a very positive tone to it, even in light of all of the issues related to uh, uh, rating agencies and the COVID impact, which is of course uh, questioned uh, by with every issuer in every process of, of the rating start. Uh, but when we talk about the summary, Okay, the summary does say that it's, uh, the city benefits from a strong financial position uh, and a revenue structure that insulates it from near-term economic declines related to the co coronavirus. Revenue raising flexibility is limited, and there they're talking about levy limits. However, because of state-imposed levy limits, yes, the tax base has experienced renewed growth, though resident income levels are weak for the rating 
category, fixed costs are above average. The debt burden will remain moderate given the regular capital borrowing and the pension burden will remain manageable. So uh, we did have a nice growth figure in our 2020 equalized value. We did have a very good outcome with our year end 2019 financials. So those were our two big highlights of our rating presentation. So we did have very good reception uh, by the rating committee. So that report is attached and after that report, there will be the resolution. And the resolution again is prepared in the dollar amount of 4,635,000. Uh, the resolution uh, recites back to the date that the council adopted the set sale resolution on July 20th. And then it goes through the things that I talked about that you're paying off the 07 bonds strictly for savings. You're not extending anything. You're just simply taking savings over the same term that we went to the market, uh, that we published notices of sale for bidders to submit a bid today. Uh, and then the rest of the resolution is similar to any other borrowing resolution the city does with regard to tax exempt borrowing uh, and the fact that the, uh, the terms that you pay your principal once a year on October, semi-annual interest, uh, the fact that the money is going to be used strictly to pay back debt. None of this is for capital projects. There's no new money associated with this financing. So this simply is for debt. And then there are uh, compliance with federal law and there are a number of exhibits. The exhibits that are attached will be the notice of sale that went out to the uh, underwriters for today. That will be the um, actual uh, bid that was submitted by the underwriter uh, an executed bid form and it'll have the repayment schedule and the pricing summary similar to what I was referring to in my summary report and it'll have a bid tabulation showing all four bidders now because you weren't able to see the bidders to begin with um, I'll just tell you that uh, bidder number one was BOK and that's the 0 0.64. The second bidder was Robert Baird at a 0 0.72. The third bidder was a firm in Minneapolis called Piper Stanley Sandler at a 0 0.74 and Raymond James at a 0 0.78. So I just thought that was important. So you kind of get a feel for the range of bids. Okay, so that is my report. <laughs> Good, thank you, Carol. Uh, questions, comments? I know. Agreed. From committee members, anyone? Uh, then I think we are looking for a motion to um, uh, send this to council, uh, authorizing the uh, borrowing is set out in the document. Do we have such a motion? Other person, so moved, so move, Warren. And Bert, you're seconding. Any other discussion? Sure. Other person, got you. Yeah. Uh, just one one point of clarification, since we do have a change from that original resolution that was submitted to you, um, for the sake of having a clear record, we would recommend treating that as an amendment uh, to include the, the new exhibits and that new new issuance amount. Are you okay with that, Jim? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. That's yes. a good point. Any other discussion? Yeah, I would like, uh, I would like to get a copy of... Uh, of uh, Carol's report, you know, just the uh, the bidders and uh, the uh, the bond report, that type of thing. If maybe if Marty or somebody could see that, we get a co at least I would like a copy of it for my record. Yes, I, I can. The, um, I can the email it out by the bond. Yeah, the analysis by the um, uh, the ratings agency is always interesting. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Can be a little infuriating, but it's uh, it's it's always interesting. So, any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, state aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion passes. All righty. Let me get back to my agenda here. Um. Let's see. That's it. Our next. Um, uh, regular meeting is August 24th. Um, looking at the council agenda for tonight, it looks like there'll be uh, a number of issues. So is, is there anyone who may not be present that you can advise us now? Okay. 
Um, I would ask for a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. I, I didn't get who moved. What, I'm going to make it up, Marcus. All right. And Bert seconded. Any uh, further discussion? Uh, hearing none, all in favor, state aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? Chair votes aye. Carol, thanks again. We appreciate your time and skill. We are adjourned. Thank you.